بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هي objective of this lecture is cells or immune systems and mechanisms of action. First, we have the electrocyte, which have a central role in generation and regulation of effective immune response. It had many cell surface receptors. First, the cell receptors, which is of the two types, alpha and beta, which is constitute the 25 to 99% of the uh, T cell receptors and the rest was uh, gamma and delta. <coughs> its functions to bind to antigen plus MHC class 1 or class 2 on the antigen presenting cell. The second receptor, which is CD3 receptor, which is uh, present on all T cells and function in sig uh, signal transduction, and CD4, which is polypeptide chain, which binds to the class uh, 2 MHC molecules. As characteristic of the T alpha cells, as function adhesion and signal transduction. The another receptor is CD8 receptor, which is also a polypeptide chain, which binds to uh, MSC class 1 molecule, characteristic of being cytotoxic, and function adhesion and signal transduction. The another receptor is CD2, CD28, which is binds to the CD8 PD71, uh, which is their function signal transduction. And this is the uh, summary of the uh, T cell receptors. The T cell, which is divided into the following subsets T alpha 1, secretes interleukin 2, uh, interferon gamma, tumor necrosis factor beta, that's activated T cytotoxic and macrophage, which is important in the cell related immunity. And another T, uh, T alpha 2, which is secreted interleukin 4, 5, 6, 9, 15, and 13. And the great T cell activity, which is uh, important in the normal immune response, allergy, and, and intolerance infection. The another T helper, which is T helper 17, which is created for the T17, for its name 17 and T17, and the looking to improve, is act against bacterial infections and contribute to infection. And another T, bacteria, which is the regulatory cell, which is created for the T10, that's on growth factor beta, that's inhibiting inflammation. Another important cells, which is the helper uh, follicular cells, which secrete interleukin 4 and interleukin 21, that help these cells to in follicles formation with germinal centers. T cell, another T is T cytotoxic, which is reactive with MSC class 1 molecules, kills this cell uh, by formation, it conjugates, it hydrotoxic uh, target cell conjugate. And the mechanism by the porphyrin granzyme pathway and the base pathways of two types, T cytotoxic 1 and T cytotoxic 2. The another type of the T cell is T memory cell, which is important in the uh, cellular infection. The steps in the T lymphocyte activation, as we know, that the T lymphocyte is the main condition in the, in the, in the uh, host. This leads to activation of the uh, T lymphocyte. And the first uh, step is non specific adhesion between TCAM1 and intercellular adhesion molecule type 1, which is the presence on the antigen presenting cell, and the lymphoma 1, which is lymphocyte function on antigen, which is present on the T cells, and it's reversible state. And the second step, binding of CD2 with lymphoma 3, and this will initiate the first signal, which is the binding cell receptor CD3 complex with on, on the CD4. Lead to formation uh, uh, with the antigen MSC class 2 with its presence on the antigen presenting cell. And the second signal is the cross stimulatory signal, which is binding on CD28, which is present on the T cells with the T7 molecule, which is CD8, which is present on the antigen presenting cell. The antigen, antigen presenting cell is created interleukin 1, T cells with synthesized interleukin 2, interleukin 2 receptor on the cell surface, and this lead to cell. Will lead to T cell will be proliferated and differentiated to infector cells. And this is figure show us this is the antigen presented cells and this is the uh, T cell and the uh, steps in the activation on the, of the T cell. This is the uh, binding lepha 1 with the CD2 and this is the TCAM1 lepha 1. And this is the first signal, and this is the second signal. And the inhibition of the T lymphocyte uh, activation can be achieved by the uh, uh, cytotoxic T uh, ligand 
Mevlevine historical form of the high affinity receptor for G7, CD80 and G72, CD86, which is lead to block the second, which is lead to block the second signal of the PCL uh, activation. And types of the antigen, either exogenous antigen like bacteria and endogenous antigen like tumor cells. And these two antigens is to simulation, activation, and the proliferation of the leukocyte. And this is uh, shows the T cell activation by the exogenous antigen. This is the bacteria, the target cell by the phagocytosis, and then when you bind with the uh, lysosome, and then will be uh, uh, break down into small peptide, and the uh, MSC class 2 will be synthesized by the endoplasmic reticulum and the transport to the collagen apparatus and then will bind with this. And the, uh, this uh, antigenic peptide will be based on the uh, MSC class 2 and then it's suppressed and then it's suppressed to the cell surface. This is the exogenous uh, uh, antigen like bacteria and this is the phagosome. And with the phagocytosis, and this is phagosome, and will bind with the lysosome, and then to small peptide, and here the synthesis of the MSC class 2, and then will bind with it, and then this is the uh, MSC uh, receptor, and this is the antigenic peptide, will be suppressed on the cell surface. And when there is a severe infection, so there is a, a cross precipitation by MSC class 1. And this is the exogenous antigen like bacteria, and then will be formed in phagocytos, and then will bind with the lysosome, and then will go to the proteasome, and it uh, crosses the small peptide, and then will be bind to the MSC class 1, and will be expressed on the cell surface. While endogenous antigen like tumor cells, this is the endogenous antigen, will be. Uh, Process to small uh, fragments by the proteasome, by the proteasome, and here the synthesis of the MSC class one, and will bind with it and will be expressed on the cell surface. And this is and this is the virus, and this is the receptor. Will bind with this receptor, and this is the phagosome, and this is the lysosome. Will bind with it, formation phagolysosome, fragmented into small peptide, and then here the synthesis of the MSC class 2 by the endoplasmic reticulum, and this is transported to collagen apparatus and then will bind with the phagolysosome be patched with the antigenic peptide this will be repeated Phagosome, isosome, phagolysosome, phagolysosome, This is the MSC class 2, set by the and transport to the college of our complex. And then we'll be part with the Epigenic peptide. And then it will be transport to the cell surface. To the MSC class 2. And the the second uh, cell is the lymphocyte, which is derived from the bone marrow or called uh, birth equivalent in the birds, and it's constituted 15 to 30 percent 
and they uh, arise from the stem cell, progenitor B cells, precursor B cells, mature B cells, mature B cells, and then will be uh, epithelial circulation, will be shared to activate B cell and plasma cell and memory B cell. And this is the uh, receptor which is present on the cell surface to distinguish its type. And the surface receptor, the IgM, IgG, uh, complement receptor, CD35, uh, CD21, Epstein uh, Barr virus receptor, mouse erythrocyte receptor, B7 molecule, CAS1 and CAS2, uh, MSC molecule that are, co that are constitutively expressed for the cell surface. Immune cell responses and activation by two by two types, T dependent B cell response and T independent B cell response. T dependent means that it is required T lymphocyte in order to be uh, in order to exert to exert this function. And this is characterized by class switching of immunoglobulin, epithelial maturation, memory and plasma cell formation. This occurs by two signals. First signal is binding of CD twenty eight to B seven. And second signal is finding of CD4 to lighten with CD4. And this first signal, which is the same second signal in T lymphocyte activation. And this is show us how the lymphocyte uh, distribution. This is the first signal, uh, CD28 to B7. And this is the second signal, CD4 to lighten, find with CD4. And here show us the uh, the Lymphocyte will bind with the T lymphocyte. This is the CD4 to CD4 to the lichen, and this is the CD cytokine. And by to the uh, receptors, the two activation of the T lymphocyte to a large number and then differentiated into the plasma cell that secrete the antibodies. The independent B cell response of two types like uh, bacterial cell wall like polysaccharides lead to polyclonal activation and type 2 that antigen has repeated tops like zero like capsular polysaccharides which is the presence of the streptococcus pneumonia and this is characterized why it did not induce isotype switching, did not induce epithelial dematuration, did not induce memory. So all three have uh, not no isotype, no epithelial dematuration, no memory cell. The another cell is the NK, NK cell, neutral cells, which play uh, small population of large uh, granular lymphocytes. They have cytotoxic against tumor cells. They do not have the anti cell receptor. Do not have any C restriction. They are age dependent, constitute 5 to 10 percent on the kinds of, of action by the ADCC and was pathway. The receptor of this, uh, uh, which is present on the NK cell, CD16, CD56, CD11, and the cellular activating NK cells defined by balance between activating and inhibiting uh, signal. And this is the inhibitory signals, and this is the activating. Uh, receptor and this is the inhibitory receptor. So the NK cell will scan the cell surface. So the NK cell will scan the cell surface. It is present in MSC molecule, class 1 on the cell surface. So there is no lysis. And if there is absence of the MSC molecule, so there is uh, activation of this receptor and lead to lysis of the cell. And cytokine alpha on the NK cells, interferon gamma, interleukin 1, interleukin 2, interleukin 12, uh, 18. And the another immune cells, the NK T cells, which is a third type of cells, has been identified with characteristic of common for cytotoxic T cell and NK cells. It's a hybrid cell, has T cell receptors. It's recognized uh, glycolipid-dependent by CD1. The molecule has no memory cells, so it's a bridge between NK and show, this figure shows us that the uh, activation of NK, NK T cells by the glycolipid CD1 of the molecule is present on CD1. Innate lymphoid cells, innate lymphoid cells are the only family of cells that mirror the phenotypes and function of T cells. 
They do not express require the antigen receptors or undergo clonal selection on expansion in the In native lymphoid cells, the actual signals from infected or injured tissue and cytokines can relate or enhance immune responses to disease prevention and therapy. Then there are cells which is macrophage called monocytes, which act as antigen presenting cells. Uh, function by phagocytosis, cytotoxicity, cytokine secretion, like for B1, 6, A12, and B1 plus of the alpha and surface, uh, cell surface receptors, CD2 bind to the IgG, CD35 bind to CDB, CD64, and 7, CD40, and C class 2 after antigen uh, stimulation. This cytotoxicity of the macrophage can be expressed by the oxidative pentane myel autoroxidase. And the better interacting can uh, by activating by activating the NADPH oxidase uses reduces oxygen to oxidize the NADPH. Also, this leads to production superoxide anion ratio or the superoxide is increased due to production uh, single uh, single oxygen and the superoxide anion can act with H2O2, resulting in the formation of hydroxyl radicals. And signal to oxygen and the second oxygen dependent myel oxidase dependent on paracellular film as the isotopic granules used with the vagosome. Myel oxidase is released into the vagolysosome and lead to production of the hypochlorite, uh, highly toxic substance, and some uh, hypochlorite and spontaneous filled down to yield singular oxygen. The another pathway is oxygen independent. Pathway by lysozyme you can see lactophilin and other hydrolytic enzymes. Macrophage polarization is a process by which macrophage adopt different functional programs in response to signals from environment that's classified into M1, macrophage 1, which is a classically activated and dominant pathway, and macrophage 2, which is alternatively activated that relate to resolution phase of inflammation. Antigen presenting cells, the, uh, the characteristic of these cells, ability to exercise a class 2 and its morphos on the cell surface and deliver post regulatory signal in the cell cd 28 and it's also because it's phagocytos, the antigen process that are presented to the cell. Types of the antigen presenting cells are professional antigen presenting cells like dendritic cells, the dendritic cells. And macrophage and B cells, which is constitu uh, constitutively express high levels of class 2 and its molecules and concentrated B cell family. And non professional antigen presenting cells, which is induced to express class 2 and its molecules and concentrated signals like fibrocyte, uh, fibroblast in the skin, glial cells in the brain, and beta, beta cells. The another immune cells, the polyploid antigen cells, which do not arise from bone marrow, located in the lymph node and follicle. Uh, these cells do not express class 2 and C molecules, they express high level of immune receptors for antibodies to interact with the cell. The another type of immune cells, granulocyte, which is including neutrophil, which is uh, responsible for the acute inflammation, eosinophil, which is responsible for the parasitic infestation, and the basophil, which is resp responsible for the allergic response. And the last one, the mast cells, which arise in the uh, bone marrow, important in allergic and secreting pharmacologically active filters from the cytoplasmic granules. Thank you.